Good morning, everybody. If you haven't yet, follow my IG. Giveaway is coming up pretty soon. The IG is pinned right there now, Dad Studios. <clears throat> we'll be doing a giveaway soon. Don't miss out. Make sure you turn on that notification, the bell on top, the C post, because my stuff gets posted and I pick the winner really fast. So. No, it's this one. Silly. Okay, I'm not using chisel 169. I'm using chisel 170. <laughs> and I am going to be using my monomer today. Almost running out. Oh, no, I got a backup bottle right there. And I'm using, a, I'm doing my secret tips. that will be back in stock soon. Pretty nice. I'll probably use my 14 brush. I can. No, I didn't clean it properly. You know what? I have to clean this a little bit later, but I guess I'll go with my 10 brush. I used my 14 brush in, in class and I didn't clean it properly, so. Let's get started here. Thank you everybody for joining me. Hit that share button, please, thank you. So, start. And the key to using C curve tips is you guys cannot do it too thick. The thicker you do it, the worse it gets. One, two, three. My monomer with the chisel powder is actually very nice. Ooh, I should definitely put some primer on. I almost forgot there. Welcome everybody, as always, remember to follow the IG, giveaway is coming up soon, make sure you turn up that notification so that Instagram lets, knows to, you want to see my post, because when I post it, you don't want to miss it, okay? Here we go again. Get that nice speed. Here, one, two, three, and the B will marble. Give it three seconds, three second rule. I got a few sets before I leave for my Chicago class this Sunday. And I've been enjoying the Q and A's lately, guys. You guys are definitely showing up for the Q and A's and asking the good questions. Usually 10, 11 Eastern time. You see, I'm gotta be careful with the C curve tip because they curve on the sides. So if you do the sides too thick, what's gonna happen is it's actually gonna make it look too wide and it's gonna look too bulky. So you lose the aesthetic of the C curve. You can make sure that the sides are nice and even. Just like that. Welcome everybody. Yeah, because a lot of you guys are following me on Instagram, just that you're not setting the, the notification. So when I did my giveaway, the last giveaway, you didn't see it because Instagram's weird like that. They only allow you to see so, so many posts from your people that you're, you're following. Unless you turn off that notification bell, then you see all the posts. That, ooh. I need a little bit more powder here, but I want to put dab of powder here. Mm 
Now, when you do taper, I think it's best to taper and long, best to use the C-curve tips. Um, they're structure right there. I think that's just enough apex for me. Um, spots here and there that I want to fill up. This is such a nice, nice pink, um, cover pink, base pink. I'm going to do some abstract art on this later. Sure, everything is nice and even. Let's work for me later. So this is my size 10 brush. So yeah, even my 10 brush, if you know how to do the ratios right, you can actually pick up big beads and work pretty well. Um, pretty much all the brushes out of stock but they're not completely out of stack. It's just that right now we're gonna put, a, put them out of stack because like they had 500 orders come in when I, when I announced it the other day. So the team's gonna have to just get as many orders to process and out as possible so that they can redo the inventory so they're sure they don't oversell. So please be patient. And I will announce if there's any other leftovers to be up there. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, we took it, we marked it as out of stock so people don't order too much and we get over our count mixed up. Even though we know how much we have, just we gotta make sure. My nail tore off when I hit it. Took the new nail with that. Can't wait to get mine done again. Ooh, you better let that grow out. You didn't miss the giveaway. Um, I haven't done the giveaway yet. I'm just letting you guys know. I mean, there was a couple giveaways before, but I haven't done my recent one yet. So you definitely didn't miss it yet. I'm just letting you know now before I not lost, announce the giveaway. For those of you guys are already following me, you, better, you have to go turn on that bell so you don't get it. And if you haven't already, hit that follow. I think at 20K, I said I was gonna give away a whole student kit that I, get, I give away at my, um, my class. Those guys that are students, you guys know exactly what those are like, right? Those kits you guys see my students have during class in my highlights. At 20K followers, I'm gonna give away a whole student kit. and slow, make sure that the application is even, make sure the apex is there, we're gonna make sure everything's structurally right, because this is a long C-curve tip. So we're gonna make sure that everything's there. I'm gonna brief up the apex a little bit more here. I use the whole brush. I find, one of the things I find that, oh, look at that. One of the things I find that during my classes that students just use bits, eat some bits of their brush. Use this whole brush, look at that. Drag this whole brush over the, the surface, okay? So I'm using it, it bits of your brush. I wanna follow all the rules and everyone. I always follow the, um, the winning is, just pretty much it's random. So I mean, there's gonna be a lot of people that enter, you know? And it's just, uh, we use, this is a program that automatically selects one person from the, the, the comments and one, one entry. So it's not really, I mean, this it's just a computerized system. It doesn't really discriminate to anybody. So if you don't win, it's just, you know, how it is. People get lucky.
It's like winning a lottery. If there's like a thousand. That's why I don't do. Um, I don't. I don't have the uh, my giveaways like for like weeks. I give it like one or two days. Those who get in and get in it. And I want like thousands of entries. You know, I want to give people a, a better chance. So you. That's why I don't want you guys to miss out and then like oh didn't enter. And I think the last giveaway was like only a hundred, two hundred people that entered, and I was able to give you a better ratio than over a thousand people. You know, um, this is quick giveaways. I'm not gonna make you wait like two, three weeks or a month or something like that. That can really add up. The last time I gave up my art gel set, some girl in the UK won it. <laughs> One, two, three. Yes, you can follow Nerdest Studios. And now when I post it, make sure you turn off notifications so you can see the post. And all you gotta do is follow the little simple instructions there. And usually it's like, hey, tag through your friends, comment, share this post, and boom, you're then. Your name is saved into the comments, and we, we, we use the, the program to pick from the, the comment section. You gotta be really careful with C curve tips. A lot of people will be doing too thin, a lot of people do too thick, and it's just the shape is wonky. Do all the work now, and you won't have to do any work later, okay? Yeah, it's nice and crisp. Amazing color. Yeah, this is 170 by Chisels, really good. Never been lucky in my life. Trust me, I've never been lucky. <laughs> I don't think I've ever won anything, any giveaway myself either, so don't worry about that. I work hard so I can afford to give people stuff, you know, that. And I do it live. I do it automated. I just put it in the thing and show you guys. I think it's the fairest thing to let the computer choose. Morning, Samantha. Well, this color is perfect for that art we're about to do. We're gonna do some mint abstract art with gold outlining. Oof. Hello. Where do you get your brushes? I really need to get a better brush. Um, <laughs> these are my own line of brushes. Um, I'm not gonna even tell you to go over to my website and buy them because they're out of stock already. I announced it two days ago and they're all stuck. That right here structurally is perfect. Is that? From the cuticle out. I think I go and say that you check it every day. I announced Montana. I literally announced it and within four hours they sold out. I had to crimp five hundred brushes in three hours. 
Yes, remember I did that live when I just got back from my class in Orlando? I was sitting there for like three hours till two in the morning, drinking wine and crimping brushes. I'm sorry. You guys remember, I crimped these brushes myself personally, so it's just like, I can't. And they're not the type of brushes that I can mass produce, so yes, I order some more, they're gonna make some more. And the price with Kalinsky has gone up because the hair is very rare. It's, they're low in stock on the Kalinsky hair, so I was like, ugh. The next batch is gonna be more expensive, like a few dollars. Supply and demand. Not enough supply, too much demand. I give it three seconds. My mom works so well with the chisel powder. See how buttery that is? And I would do this for every any powder you use, pretty much. As long as not a really terrible powder, but. You feel like your monitor is getting a little sticky, just change it out. It's the contamination. Um, pretty much when we're cleaning our brushes, getting in there, we're transferring acrylic in there so it gets a little bit dingy or sticky or a little murky. Just change it out. It'll make your powder, your beads more smooth. It's contaminated monitor, that's why. My bees are starting to get more and more sticky. That's when you know that you should change it out. I'm just going to change this monomer out before I do the second hand. Jeez, guys, look at this structure. That's what I like. Coming off of the cuticle. Nice apex. We're gonna put a little bit more apex here. Give it some nice structure. This won't break. If it does, it'll break properly right at the free edge. I'm talking about. Now, in hindsight, I could have chosen to use less monomer. So, see how dark this is? I should have put less monomer in there. Well, not have to throw out too much monomer, but it's just a lesson learned. And I'll show you guys what the monomer will look like when it's fresh. It's because pigments, we use pinks or nudes or any high color pigment, there's, we're transferring some in there. So, I'm gonna pour a little bit more monomer. See the difference? It's nice and clean. And our bees will be nice and big too. That should be how much I would pull it earlier, but I didn't. So make sure you're managing your monomer correctly, okay? So you don't waste like I just did. I wasted a little bit of monomer. That's okay. I'll do my second hand. And watch how different the beads are with this fresh monomer. Thank you, Deja Montana for the stars. What number of brushes you, you first start with? Actually, I started with a 16. Um, because back in the day when I first started doing nails, there was not really any other size brushes. At, at, the, at the nail salon, we, we use a big size brush. But now, I think for beginners, you definitely use a smaller brush and work your way up. Um, I think that's the most efficient way for beginners. One second, guys, I'm working out some of this excess acrylic in this brush here.
I'm gonna go back to beading. Look at that bead. So much different, right? It's not as runny. And for my monomer, you wait about three seconds if you get the right ratio, and the powder will be nice and buttery just like that. See, it doesn't flood, but you can still move it. When you move it lightly with the brush, it actually makes the powder nice and thin. No, nice, not thin, but nice and even. See, I'm shaping my powder while I'm working too. One, two, and three. See that marbling? So once you see that marbling, that means that the powder is okay. I'm ready to be put on the nail. Give it a three second rule, okay? My monomer gives always a three second rule. It lets you know that it's gonna be too dry or too wet. If it marbles slow, that means it's gonna be a little bit dry. You can still work with it, but work faster. If it marbles fast, that means that it's a little bit wet, so give it a little more, but you know, it's not gonna be too wet. Like a nice butter consistency, and you'll be able to get that application that you need. Like, this is a small bead, so it doesn't really matter. I'll show you guys in a second. watch one two three you see that I bet you guys never looked at your bead when you, you're doing acrylic huh some of you probably like oh my goodness I'm gonna go get my acrylic con and do it right now <laughs> now this lets me know that hey this is gonna be dry but you can still work with it still move it and the harder it is the more pressure we put down but it's not gonna be running, you know? It's not gonna be thin. Oops. Ooh, I'm running out of this powder. It's such a beautiful powder by Chisel. 170. It's like a nice milky pink. Good cover powder here. Good ombre powder too, to be honest. If you use any light pastel colors. I'm always patting down the cuticle area, making sure it's nice and blended out. Last thing I want to do is have bulge on my cuticle area and that will cause lifting when it grows out. Hi, Leah Nails. I looked at mine. <laughs> What's up, Amanda from Key Largo? Ooh, wow, all the way from Key Largo. Learning to do acrylic at the moment. Love watching your videos. Informative. I'm in England. Hey, thank you. Thank you, CC, for the stars. Please, well, thank you, Amanda. Class in Charlotte, NC. If you're in North Carolina, you can probably make it to Atlanta. I have 10 seats left in Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta will be full within the next couple of days. The way it's going. We still got Connecticut. And Connecticut's over 70% capacity.
keep touching that spot there and that should one, two, three. See how I nudge the key to go up, the beat up the key to go area? I'm not gonna place it right on the key to go area. I'm gonna nudge it up. I have more control of the beat if I'm nudging it up rather than if I'm placing it there and it's bleeding. And the perks of having a crimp brush, I said the other day, is you can go into the side walls and clean up. Just like that. One, two, three. Sucker for structure. I want to teach application. That's why my students, man, my old lady students, she's like, I usually take three hours to do a full set. I just did a full set during class and it took me 35 minutes for one hand. So that means it takes her less than one and a half hours to do two hands. She was so proud of herself. And my private classes, I actually give them time to um, execute everything they learn in class. <laughs> Stick, stick, stick. So this, I'm gonna deep clean my brush. This brush is so old, over a year old. I can't even get a new brush because you guys bought all the brushes. Ooh. I'm gonna have to steal one of these brushes. I'm gonna have to cancel one of these orders and be like, hey, sorry, we're out of stock. You got, we we oversold. So now that I can get a brush. That's it. That's what we strive for, y'all. See, I'm gonna put a little bit more. That's it. I don't know who is it gonna be, but I'm gonna take one of your brushes. If you get a message from the team saying, "Hey, sorry, um, we can't fulfill your brush order because you know, now Dad needs a brush." I'm sorry. Okay, it's for the greater good. <laughs> I'm serious. If you get a message from the the team. And you're like, they're like, hey, your order cannot be fulfilled because now that I need the brush. You, you took one for the team because I've been using these brushes for a year. I needed a fresh one. Every time I get brushes in, you guys, you guys buy it all. And I don't even get a chance to get one.
Here's the last finger. We're gonna do the apex bead right here. We're gonna leave the apex bead there. Make sure that we blend it into the front of the nail. Also blend it into the top of the nail. We want a nice, like, um, slope effect. Slope, not hill, not mountain, okay, slope. You know what a slope is? A gentle, gentle slope. Just like that. I'm gonna put some more on the tip here. Open up. Only time I ever blend upwards is when I'm trying to, you know, put some more thickness at the tip area. So of course I can't blend down, I gotta blend upward. But I also will blend back down also. Okay guys, there we have it. And I'm gonna clean this brush too. This is a solid 170 by Chisel. I'm out of that, I need to order more of that. Make sure all the acrylic out. Check your brush. Get all the acrylic out before I. There you go. And I'm gonna store it just like that. And it's gonna stay flat. And of course, I'm gonna throw this monomer out because I really don't need it anymore. It's already contaminated a little bit, so. It wasn't that much. Okay, let's see what we got here for application. We just finished two sets. So nice and clean this application is. Mm -hmm. Shades right there. We're gonna go with the taper, taper look. we're gonna shape the nails usually I don't really shape that much as you guys have always known me I either just need help with my nails right then they break so easily I tried hard gel dipping powder and nothing less after two days please help me with their product I can use um you are using hard gel you're not using it thick enough that's why it's uh it's breaking um dip you're probably not dipping thick enough you need to create enough layers okay hard gel is actually one of the strongest products out there it's stronger than actually acrylic um, so make sure that you're using enough thickness and you're using enough of it and make sure you're curing it properly. Hard gel only cure with UV light and I'm pretty sure you're probably dipping your nails too thin. Because if you're probably doing it yourself, you probably don't have that. Mm, when, when will you have more? Um, probably a month. I said this morning I'm safe. <laughs> ah, God, you guys. Mm, I don't think I miss anything. It's just a clear end. Mm -hmm. Remember, these are C-curve tips, and I'm using a very sheer color, so and they're clear, so it'll give it like a maybe a slight lightness. But I'm just gonna go through and make sure I shape. Yeah, I will check the middle fingers again. Maybe I didn't see something. Oh, I mean this is just a little bit clearer because it's sheer, but I'm gonna file on the tip anyway. I'm sure if we're talking about the other hand or not. Did I miss something? No, looks pretty good to me. Must be the light or something refreshing. So when I shape, I really don't have to shape because if you, as long as your nails are not thick, your shaping should be fairly easy.
This thumb though, guys. And there you go, that's the shaping. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of hand filing. This is a long nail, I'm gonna hand file and then um, I'm gonna go back through with the bit to do my cuticles. But I like, it's okay, it hurt? It hurts a little bit, yeah. There. Put your finger underneath to hold it structurally. You really go through. Do a little hand power. You can use a worn out filer for this. Don't use a fresh one because your clients will feel everything you do. And you can go back through with this with a nice sanding band or even a carbide bit if you want. But I will still seal my cuticles in later with my, my, my bit though. <laughs> this may look like it's flat, but if you use it in circular motion, it give it a curved look. I love the using the drill bit too, but if I can go through a hand filer, if, I think if you do your application good, your hand, hand filing definitely a little bit quicker for you. The drill bit, so sometimes you may be a little bit too hard on your nails, and actually can drill over drill and you're gonna make the nails more uneven. Um, if you, but that's if you have a lot of bulk. If you are very smooth with your application, the hand filer will actually give you a little bit more control how much you take out. It's not long, it needs to take a few minutes for each hand. Lightly, okay? Application is good, lightly over. Just shape it with this. Mm 
In this hand, I'll do the hand file, uh, the drill for you guys. One hand I'll do hand file, and the other hand I'll do the drill. You guys will see the difference. Not really that big of a difference. I just want to show you guys different techniques. For those of you guys that don't know how to use a drill yet, you can actually still do the same amount of work with the hand filer. The C curve tips has such good structure. You probably see um, this is how you if you guys have set people that do uh, take um, um, you guys see people that do um forms. This is literally the tip user's way of doing forms right here. This gives you that look like how forms will look. C curve. You ever seen some of John's? Sean Legend set. medium sharp taper head bit this is the one that I go do cuticle work with okay guys um, I also have a fine version too but I'm gonna use a medium this time fine is also nice gets me in uh, don't move please the moment you move your hand moves you just don't notice it This is a sharp bit, so I'm able to get right into the cuticle area. Flush my acrylic out. I'm just gonna gently use my drill bit to clear up all that scratch marks. This is how you would use it. time here because it's a little bit more bulkier than I wanted. But I'm gonna blend the cuticle area out. And there you go. Nice and smooth. We're going in at an angle. I 
Now you hand thought you can't really get in this area, so that's why you still gotta use a drill bit at some point. Okay? This is your favorite part. Yeah, cute work is a pretty ASMR aesthetically pleasing part of doing the nails. But my new my five one bits are back in stock and they're pretty damn good. into the box too. I was like, oh shit. So you gotta be careful, see guys? This is a sharp bit. You can do downward motion. Actually, I really could with this bit too, so it removes everything, so it cleans everything out. Nice and smooth. Circular motion works best with this drill bit. It's a little bit harder to work with longer nails when it comes to drill bits though. This one's like longer, long enough, has a good enough base for you to work with it actually. So not too bad. There we go. I clear this out first. Said no resistance because this is so smooth already. And I hand filed earlier so I could get any bumps. Your nails been this long. A little while. A little while. I didn't enjoy this set, huh? I can't wait. Hello. Show my nails, what you do. Mm-hmm. 
And this thing I used medium on my client last night, yeah. so good. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, man, this medium is whew, it's smooth, baby. The fine is really good too, but the medium is definitely, for those that have bulky application, but the fine is actually more precise. You should try both though. You may even like the fine too. Try the fine. This one is good for breaking down the bulk, but the fine is very precise, very smooth also. A lot of people like the fine also. I have the safety version and I have the sharp version, so if you guys can practice with the safety version first, then use the sharp version later when you feel like you're ready. Don't jump into it, you know? And the safety and the fine version are both the same size, same everything, just, oof, come on, baby. That's where the money is. What's the best OTC product you use to treat nail fungus? I don't never have that issue. I don't I'm I don't treat nail fungus because that's not my area of expertise. The client has to go and do that themselves. Does every client that has a fungus? It's just not really called a fungus, it's just a, it's called a greenie. It's called a greenie, it's not a fungus. Um you can probably go to Walgreens or CVS, they'll have it in their pharmacy area. If there's a, if any clients greeny, I don't, I don't work with it. It's not our job as nail techs to treat that stuff. We're not licensed to treat that stuff either. They have to figure out how to do it themselves because you don't want to be liable for anything, okay? You're welcome, Dan. I know a lot of you guys, maybe clients come and you're like, oh, I have a greenie and fungus. You know, you, wanna, you don't want to touch that at all. You just got to tell them, hey, I am not certified to work with that. They'll understand. It's like the last person to touch it rule. If you're the last person to touch them or work on them or do anything for them, then you're the last person liable for them. I don't like that. That's why all my staff, I tell them, hey, have you ever seen anything green like that? You just send them on their way. Say, hey, listen, sorry. Until you get take care of that, we can't work on you. We're a nail salon. We are not licensed to work on greenies. Thank you for understanding. here we're gonna give her a nice buff and clean underneath and then um, you know maybe a little bit reshaping and we're gonna do the design i'm gonna use a mint 
color to do some abstract designs on here with some gold border lines. So I decided if I want to use chrome or if I want to use um, foil, I want to use gel polish for the gold. <laughs> Could quite possibly use foil. last finger. It's always a blessing to do it. even application. You have to worry about too much bulk. I need to borrow your phone. I need to take a picture of these raw. You can't do it without my phone later before you wash it. Yeah, a 10. 11. iPhone 11? Yeah, 11. Good. Pro? Yeah. Good. Should be able to take good pictures. I want a nice crisp picture. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it's clean on this side. This is where the lifts happen, okay? You need to get in these corners. Get up here. Get these corners. Get these lifts. Just like that. This is from the foundation, okay? Not from the drilling. I just pretty much clean up. This is already here from the foundation. So I'm gonna clean up underneath. Any excess. Curve. Okay, look guys. C curve, taper. Let me give this a nice bufferoni. Yeah, I know why it's hurting. You haven't had long nails in a while. We jamming these in any no, boxes now. No, no, no. You not? Okay, sure. Don't worry. Let's cut Apex. It won't break. It won't break on you. No, no, they don't. They don't ever break. I just fuck them up. <laughs> Is there anything more pleasing than? Good structure nail? I think not, guys. Consistency, structure.
Wash your hands. There we go. There we go. Just give me one second, guys. It's gonna be a little quiet. I'm gonna run out there and grab some chrome. And my gel machine. Thank you for being patient, guys. I left my other gel machine at home, of course. Color from my gel art line. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're not able to get this. Hold on, let me let me get let me get this. One second, guys. I'm gonna take a quick side profile picture. There's a baby there. Cake over. Not my baby. Um, yeah. I don't have any of this. Yeah. 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 Use my flat brush to paint in this mint. It's a very high pigmented paint, so definitely oh give you that nice thin one coat so that you don't lose your shape. See that?
Oh my god. Yeah, that's not bad. Thank you. And you can't, you know there was, you know this was gel polish too, but the thing is gel polish, it won't stay like that. You see how my, my gel art paint it just stays, stays where it needs to be. Um, it's actually very useful to have paint that like that. Because so it, when it's, you're using gel polish, it actually gets too bulky and too runny and makes the size all, you know. Oh my God. Let's go. Zero two zero eight nine six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the opposite way. Did that wrong. Oh, this mint color is so pretty, y'all. I really don't see the thumb, I'm just gonna zoom. So after I'm finished with this, I'm gonna cure it. And then later on, I'm gonna do gold inside. Gold outline, be really pretty. Mm -hmm. Zero one. Zero two. Zero. Oh no, I don't need that. Oh, I need the picture, but I'm gonna do a video. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna use up your phone real quick. That's fine. Mm. I'm using your phone to do my own TikTok. Zero three. Zero two. Zero two zero eight nine six. Actually, I don't need it because I already have one handwriting. Go here. So later we're gonna put like a gold trimming on the outside. It's gonna look really nice. We're matting in this, right? Cause it, it's so fun. Okay. okay. It'll look really good matted. So we're definitely gonna matte this nail, this style. Um, you can take it out. So I'll do the reverse for this side. Yeah, see how pigmented this is? I just paste it on one coat and it gives it a nice pigment. And it's not gonna bleed, it's gonna stay the way it is. See that? Mm 
that. It's all you need is a little bit. This is the brush. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple design, abstract, so springy. Love this mint color for my art gel art collection. It's a nice pastel. Beautiful. Oh my god, this gold, this matte. <laughs> things first I will be top coating this first then I'll be adding a um, actually no I'm gonna go ahead and try something real quick I'm using this Anthony Vince gold chrome Try this texture gel from black. I'm gonna demo. I'm gonna try this first. Okay, I'm not gonna commit to it yet. But I'm gonna try this. If it works, it works. And then I'll do another way. This looks black, but once this cures, I'm gonna have to transfer this. actually protect everything for a try put this chrome on and give this a nice matte top coat protect everything first then i'll add the chrome on if i add the chrome on it'll stick onto that gray i don't want that to stick onto the gray very thin matte top coat very very thin don't want to take away the shape
It's just to protect my um, my my teal here. Oh, you touched this. Yes, at least did they touch me or something? gold line and outline there so no it doesn't have to be perfect make sure that this is very thin okay you don't want this too thick we don't want to add any more thickness because it's a c-curve tip you add more thickness to it it's not gonna look good I'm gonna try this gold chrome. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna use a gold gel polish and call it a day. This one looks like matted. gonna be porous so I'm gonna take this and do a slight buff and remember I already put my matte top coat on so I'm protecting everything this buff will make it so that this is nice and smooth so that the chrome won't attach to it at all okay so now have that ugly have that dust this off of course I'll do this Of this and the chrome should adhere to this black very nicely. Okay, switch. Oh, this glove is attached, everything dusty to it. I don't have to wear it inside out. Mm -hmm. Different gloves than you had before? Mm hmm, different brand. Voila! There is somewhat of the, the chrome on here, but I can always clean that off with acetone. There it is. There it is, y'all. So it works. Dang, really? Yeah. Ah. You better not stub these nails. That's all I'm saying. No, I hate, I've always, I do not like the, the buffing. The buffing. Part. I hate it. Anna, Anna, can you give me some acetone? Can you give me some acetone? Thank you, thank you.
Here we go. Back here. It looks so good with the black on there too. <laughs> I know, look, bro. Why we use black is because black actually brings out the gold more than white would. A darker base. And that's why we use black. We have some resin. Oh, don't go, don't, don't go anywhere yet. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna clean out some of that gold residue so I can have just the line. Even that buff at the chromes is so strong that it just ticks on. Or you can leave it you like it, but I, I'm not leaving it. This needs like a pen, flat brush, and around before you top coat it. Don't go over that black line, okay? You don't want to remove the chrome from the black line. I, 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 accidentally, I accidentally did it right there. See that? You can do this with foil also. You feel like foil is the way to go for you. Um, this is just another chrome technique using cold chrome. You can know it doesn't have to be gold. It can be other type of chromes also. Um, you're not limited to cold chrome per se. 
This one actually came on pretty nicely. It came off pretty nicely. You know what I could do is So, I'm gonna finish up cleaning up here. Now I'm gonna mat everything again. And I'm gonna go through with the clear for the shiny, the gold, so it pops out. This chrome is actually pretty strong. There's other chromes that won't be as strong as this one. So it won't take over like this one. This one just wants to absorb to everything. I kind of like the iridescent look. The sides. Mm -hmm. so these abstract stuff is pretty popular now, guys. It's actually pretty simple as long as you have the right products and the right techniques, the right, the right tools to use. It's actually fairly simple. Careful when you're polishing this because you don't want it to be too strong, too thick, because you're adding too many layers, it's gonna make your shape bulky. Very thin layers. We're trying to just protect this chrome, we're matting everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
This is what everything matted. Let's say I want to make that chrome. Oh my God. Shiny. All I gotta do is take a little bit of top coat. brush again, put a little bit of taco on a dampening dish. I just go over just the chrome part of it. Don't make that shiny, everything else matted. That you or me? Yeah. Probably me too. I, f I felt that one. We're in sync. <laughs> Wait, I need to get lunch too. I'm not sure if I want you to drink that coffee right now. All right. Oh, is she still here? Um, yeah. Wendy? Yeah, I want to get a pedicure. Another one? I just see her last week. I know. I, yeah, I come once a week. You must really love her pedicures. Okay. There you guys go, and we're done. Look at that. Everything's matted. Just to go with the shiny. C-curve tips, taper. Hope you guys enjoy that set. I'll catch you guys later. We're gonna have a shorty set tonight and I'm gonna last set tonight. So we top coated just the gold vein. Everything else stays matted. And of course our structure of our nails, so nice. Look at that. You can't complain about that. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.